What's up guys, today I'll be showing you how you can create engaging technical documentation with Markdown and I'll be taking you through a step-by-step -step guide. So in case you are not familiar with Markdown, be sure that you go to markdownguide.org and then read the documentation, go to get started and just read the basics documentation. So without wasting so much time, I am going to go to my GitHub. I go to repositories and then I'll create a new repository just for the purpose of this, this video. So our repository is going to be the name of our guide that we are going to create. So we shall just call it Taskmaster User Guide. So I'll do the description and make sure that you add a readme file and then I'll create a repository. So after creating the repository, I'll come here to code and I'll copy this. I'll go to my desktop, right click, and then open in terminal. I'll say git clone, and then I'll right click and paste the link there. So you can see it's cloning the rep repository. After cloning the rep repository, we are going to open it in VS code. I'll just write code and press enter. So here is our VS code. So let me expand it and you can see this is our task master. So I'll right click and I create a new file and just call it userguide.md for markdown. So now first thing we are going to create heading. To create an heading, we are going to put hash and then write the heading, which is task master user guide. And then a smaller heading, we shall call it table of contents. So to preview what we are writing, we shall press control, shift and V. This will open the preview. So you can see task user guide and this is the table of contents. So let me take you through how to write table of contents. You put a dash and then put square brackets and then the name of the item and then the item. So if you preview, you can see that is how it comes out. So we shall do the same for all other items. So I'll just copy this and paste and then change the rest be sure that there are no spaces in between this so when you preview you can see this is our table of contents so after creating table of contents we can now create what is in that table of contents so we shall have the introduction which is double hash and then introduction and then here we can create our content here so i'll just keep it brief and then when you preview, you can see that is it. After that, let's go to installation. This is double hash and space. And I'll just say to install taskmaster, ensure you have Python installed, for example, on your machine. Then use pip to install the tool. So if I want to insert a code here, I'll use the back ticks, this, that, and that. Then I'll say pip install one, two, three. You see that? And then when I come here to preview, you can see how it shows. Let's say task master CLI, for example. So when I go, you can see this is how it shows. You can also use double back, back ticks, which will also give you the same thing. And you can see it's been highlighted. So now you can follow along and write the documentation as far as you. So I want to show you some things, how to create lists with Markdown. So let me say examples. And I say lists in Markdown. If you want to create a list, you just use the dash and then put your list item, list item two, list item three. And when I go to preview, you can see that is how it shows. Then if you want to create numbered lists, you just use the number. For example, step one, step two, step three. And when you come to preview, you can see that is how it shows in Markdown, in the preview mode. And then let me talk about formatting in Markdown because these are some of the things you will encounter. So first things, let's look at bold and italics. To italicize something, this is, let's try to write, a, this is an example of bold and italic in Markdown. So I'm going to make, to make this bold, I'll do star star and then also 
star star just before the word and after the word two stars and then to italicize it i'll use one star here and then at the end also one star you can see it even shows it now in italic so when i come to preview mode you can see this is how it will show so let me take you through adding images in markdown to add an image we are going to put exclamation mark with the square brackets and then i'll put maybe a logo here and then after that i will insert the image i'll put brackets and then insert the image for example let's look for an image online i'll just go to my browser and search for placeholder image i'll right click and then i'll copy image address and then go to my brackets and then paste the image link there okay it's pretty long but basically that is it so when i come to preview you can see the image is there so you can use a shorter link this is so much but this was just for the examples so after that let's look at tables in markdown to create a table in markdown you just use these these pipes i don't know how that sign is called you use that sign and you use hyphens which is this so for example let's create a table let's say name and age table for example so i'll put this and then i'll put name and then i'll put that and then i'll put the age and then that so after that you can repeat the same and maybe put the dashes and then i'll put my name funny age 23 that's not my real age so when i come to preview you can see how the table comes out perfect so guys this is basically how you can play around with markdown and create your documentation in markdown and if you have any questions we can still continue building on this this was just like the basics of how you can write technical documentation using markdown and the basic formatting that you'll normally be using so i'll push this to github so you can see this example and then Modify it the way you want. So let me go to terminal, git add, git commit, intro to markdown. Then I can do git push. Our work is now on GitHub. So when I go to GitHub and refresh, you can see I have this user guide. And then you can see how the documentation looks like on GitHub. There's a problem with the image here, but yeah, basically that is it. And you can always continue building up on this and add things that you want. If you need more guide on Markdown, please visit markdownguide.org and look at the common things that you can use with Markdown and all that. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.